it's Emily and welcome or welcome back to another video today I am going to do a huge haul video and I'm so so freaking excited I have been longing to do this video for so long and now it's finally time yeah as I said I'm really excited because I got a lot of stuff like a lot so I guess it's just to get started. I will divide the sections. The first one will be miscellaneous stuff and the second one will be like pens. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so as I said before, I will start with the miscellaneous stuff. And the first things that I got, oh wait, I just have two. So the first things that I got are these notebooks from White Lines. And as the name suggests, these have white lines. And it's the size A4 and it has 80 GSM paper, which I really like because when I take my notes, I like to use strong highlighters or I want to draw things in my notes and this way I know that it won't bleed through or even ghosts so this is something that I really want a notebook to have I also got another notebook and it's the Cocoa Campus Smart Ring Binder Notebook I think it's called the thing about this notebook because it's no usual notebook, no, no, no. It's a binder notebook and that's something that's really cool and I wanted to try out. So the thing is that you can open it as a regular notebook, but you can open it up like a binder and then sort the sheets as you like so you can organize your notes. And I'm really excited to try this thing out. Also, since this notebook only comes with 10 sheets of paper, I had to get some loose leaf paper. I got a hundred of them and in the size B5 because the notebook's in the size B5. And both of this stuff I got from Jet Pens. Also, the paper is really cool because in the lines there are dots, so it's much easier to keep your notes organized and neat. Okay, so the next thing is probably my favorite thing of the entire haul. And it's my new Archer and Olive bullet journal. Um, I got this notebook in a really pretty floral pattern and it just screams summer and that's the vibe I really want to go with right now because with the coronavirus and everything else that is happening right now the world seems so dark but this journal really lights up my day and it makes me so happy so I'm so excited to start to use it. Oh. Right, I got this one from Tid Formera. The next thing I also got from Tid Formera and it's this circle stencil and it has, I don't know how many, but a bunch of different circles in different sizes. The next thing is also from Tid Formera and it's the Tombow Mono Correction Tape, I think it's called. The next thing is the Tombow Mono Eraser and this one I got from JetPens. And I haven't tried it out yet, but I have seen it on videos and I think it's really good. So I'm really excited to try it out. The last things of the miscellaneous stuff is these ones in gold and these ones in black. Okay, so that was everything for the miscellaneous category. So now on to my favorite part and that's the pen category. So I will start with highlighters and I don't know why I got this many highlighters, but for some reason I did and I actually have no regrets at all because I love all of them. So the first one is the Beetle Tip Highlighter. I think this highlighter is really cool actually because it's not like the usual highlighter that comes in one color and it's not like the usual two color pens that has one color on one side and another color on the other side. Instead, this highlighter has two colors on the same side and that's something that i think is really cool the colors are really mild my favorite pen is probably the one with the green and purple highlighter but 
I really like the other ones too. So the next pack of highlighters that I got was the Unipropos Window Highlighters and they come in five different really really pretty colors and at the beginning when I ordered them I was a little nervous because when I watched review videos I thought that the colors were a little too much vibrant but when I got them and tried them out myself I just fell in love with the colors and they aren't as vibrant as they can look on the video or on pictures but they are really mild actually and that's something that I'm really thankful for. Also something that I'm really thankful for is that they have a window tip so you I don't know if anyone else has a problem but when I highlight I never know exactly when to stop so I always draw a too, um, too short or too long line <laughs> but I hopefully that problem won't last any longer with these highlighters. I also got these Zebra Mild Liners and this is the Refresh Mild set. I have three other sets so now I have four. I really like this, these colors. I think they are really pretty and summery and that's kind of the theme I want to go with right now. Hopefully we can bring some joy into the world with some pens. Okay so the last set of highlighters that I got is these mono... no Tombow Mono Edge Highlighters, that's what they are called. The thing with these highlighters is that they are like, they have plastic around them, so you can use them together with a ruler, and that's something that I use a lot. I have a metal ruler, so I'm kind of afraid to ruin my mind liners with the ruler, but I won't have that problem anymore with these highlighters, so <laughs> that's something really cool. Also, when I try them out, I experienced that the fine tape was a lot harder than, for example, the mind liners have, and that's something that I actually really liked because when you use the mild liners after time the fine tape will start to get softer and softer so the stroke will be, get thicker um, but I really don't think that these strokes will get thicker. I also bought a green mild liner because I thought that I lost my previous one but in fact I found it like three days before my package arrived so it was kind of unnecessary because now I have a spare green mild liner, but I'll probably find a good use for it, so it won't be in vain. I also bought a bunch of different gel pens, and the first ones are the Unibol Signo DX, which I got in the colors black, red, and gray, and I also got a bunch of refillers for the black one because I feel like I will finish these pens pretty fast because I only use yellow pens when I take my notes and I take a lot of notes right now so I got some refills. I also got a bunch of Pantel Energel needle tip gel pens because these are my go-to gel pens. They are my absolute favorite pen of all time and I use them up all the time so I got three of these from Klaus Olsson. The thing that I love about them is that you can highlight over them right after you have written something and it won't smudge at all and that's something that I really find useful when I take my notes. Okay so that was everything for this video and I will link everything in the description down below and I hope you liked the video and don't forget if you did to leave a thumb up and subscribe to my channel.